ओम शांति ओम मीन्स आई एम एंड इमीजिएटली दर इज द अवेयरनेस ऑफ द सेल्फ आई एम a pure a living energy and shanti means peace such the greetings of peace which in other words good morning mm-hmm. because if the state of mind is peaceful then is good feelings in everyone's heart and not only good morning but then it is good day good evening good night all the time is good we don't have to remind each other uh, with words but in fact it is straight away there is the sharing with vibrations with vision with the natural feelings in that atmosphere why is it important to sit in silence for few minutes before we start any discussion about discover discovering the self trying to see how to use our hidden potentials why is it important to sit few minutes in silence we can see that there are so many different waves in our mind sometime one is not able to see what is deep within there is a hidden treasure its power of mind but its mind itself sometimes is creating so many conflicts but to sit in silence means just like let the waves cool down calm down and if there is a pond of water full and many ripples are there you won't be able to see through in the depth of that pond but if it clean clear water is calm you are able to see through the bottom of that pond or a pot of water if you have so this is also the power of our own mind the positive power is felt is experienced and through that experience you are able to see and you make sure that yes this is what it is the real energy the original power of the self the power of the soul in other words a question arises then what is the soul what is that living energy how does it work through the body how to enhance that personality before i want to search something within myself i want to know what am i what is my original nature just stop for a minute and then you feel that some type of deep feeling of freshness comes from within 
when you are observing yourself in the state of detached from yourself detachment in that sense that you are being a separate entity from this physical form just have a creative thought what am i am i this physical being the visible form that is being seen by others or something more than that then which image comes in your mind when you say when you see yourself what comes in your mind what shall i ask someone would be able somebody able to tell me what when you just you are thinking about yourself what am i is an image comes in front of you so so what image comes that's right a soul but what form comes in front of you at that time if you see yourself how will you see i see myself mm-hmm. see when we want to see ourselves for example if i want to see my face what do i need a mirror right so i need my eyes <laughs> i need a mirror i need light then i am able to see my reflection in the mirror very clear mirror has been provided by philosophers or uh, great scholars or um, um, experienced people they have given very clear mirror and yet we are not able to see ourselves and more you read sometimes it's clarity but some most of the time the more you read the more there is confusion so mirror is there <laughs> but i don't see myself because i am not using my own eyes which is part of me so my own eyes so when now here the physical my physical body so my eyes and i i they are two separate so here now i can see there are two types of eyes physical eyes mortal eyes and then the one who is seeing through these eyes which is also called the third eye so now what am i and what is the difference between i and my we have been identifying ourselves with our physical form all the time because this is what introduction we have been given by our parents or all other people because as soon as the child is born the first impression is of the physical form oh such a lovely child eyes are on his mother and faces on the father and hands are on the first impression is so then the child is absorbing that vibration of this seeing the self as human form as vehicle and then a training is given you are a boy you are a boy or you are a girl you are a girl and then remembering again and again the name of the body you are michael you are michael how many times a little boy has to repeat his name we don't even think that child will get bored the idea behind is that they want to make the child aware that this is what the physical form is so in that way we become so in this idea of seeing the self 
just in the physical form become so strong. And yet, there has always, you can see the little children ask very, very wise questions. So it means the inside that, even in small body, the actual energy is, has the capacity to know, has the desire to know. But as it's growing older and older, the influence of matter is just, it is trying to cover that that uh, that little shine shining light is just being wrapped by different environment and situations and then uh, influence of matter. The light is still inside, but it is just like covered and wants to break break through. So this I, the living energy. Seeing through my eyes, speaking through my mouth, hearing through my ears. So I am separate from my body. And this true analogy that this is just my vehicle. So it means I am driver. So I, this is my instrument and I am player. This is my light, I, the self, am light, and this, uh, this home, the body or the temple, is shining only when the light is in this body or in the temple. But so I am <gasps> separate. Now I wanted to see myself, so I, do, I need to use my own eyes. Which eye? The eye of wisdom. The eye of understanding, which is called the third eye, which is part of me. So now I need to analyze what is me. So if we see, can see, if we see a dead body, what is missing in that dead body? Features are already there, heart, brain, everything is there. But we can see the subtle, the feelings are not there. The heart is there, but there isn't feelings in the dead body. And feelings are created through thoughts. And thoughts are created by the mind. So first thing we can see the mind is missing from this body. Second thing, we can see there is, brain is still there in the dead body, but there isn't understanding in it. If you make, want to uh, un, make the dead body understand anything, nothing. So the power to understand, to discriminate, to judge is known as the intellect. And then third aspect of the self is the power to express. Now these three things are missing. Thinking power, the power of judgment and the power to express. These three together are called the mind, the intellect and sanskaras. Trinity in unity is called soul or living energy or motivative force. And these, these faculties of the self are expressing through this physical form. I am creating positive thought, powerful thought, high thought, or weak, wrong, impure, low vibrating thoughts. 
that body is not creating the body is not creating but body the matter is absorbing it is an instrument which you can feel but the feelings are emerged created through the mind so sometimes we say i have two minds i am in between two minds one mind said do this another said don't do this do we have two minds but it is two types of thoughts <laughs> and i say i have been thinking it over for a long time and now i understand i must do this so after thinking there is another power which wants to understand understands and then gives directions to perform that action so in order to express i need this support of my body or matter so now i see myself with the the intellect that i the soul the living energy consists of three main powers faculties so i need just like if a gross thing is to be seen i need gross as things to see material or instrument but if i want to see some subtle things i need subtle instruments many things are visible with these eyes and some things are there for example if i give you a glass of milk and somebody says to me that in this milk there are some subtle things that you are not able to see and i say no i it nothing is there it's i can see milk is there i don't see anything at all then you give me a microscope and then i am able to see so now the, the things that my eyes were not able to see with these eyes now with the aid of an, a microscope i am able to see something more but that is also gross here i am a subtle energy so i want to be able to see myself with gross thing but i need subtle instrument to see myself so i am metaphysical energy metaphysical power abstract energy so i need an abstract power to see myself abstract instrument to see myself so i need the light of experience and once i try i turn within then i am able to see what is within so this is why it is essential to sit for a few minutes in quiet and then turning within and seeing my true self because as soon as you start thinking who is it that wants to have experience who has desires who is that creates gives judgment the brain does not the dead body is not making any judgment so immediately you will be able to differentiate yourself from this physical matter a separate energy yes i am now i can understand and understanding is also called seeing and in fact then experience is also called to see when you want to buy something from a shop you have seen with your eyes that the article is there and you want to buy that thing you have seen already and then here you say to the salesman please can i have a look can i see it you have seen already and yet you want to see it. what do you want to see <laughs> then you hold that thing in your hand and then you are trying then you recall your experience that this type of material is good this type of material doesn't last very long this type of material so its past experience is now helping you to see it the quality of the thing 
And if you just buy something without any understanding and experience, you say, oh, I did not know, I didn't really see, I just bought, I did not see it properly. <laughs> so it means understand in the same way, just like for the gross things, we use the eye of the intellect, light of the experience to see, our, see the things. In the same way, if I want to see myself, I need understanding of myself. And understanding is through the light of knowledge. So knowledge is called light. So for knowledge, then explanation and example is needed. Otherwise, just we sit. And we sit in meditation. Perhaps it may take longer to experience. You will be experiencing, but when the knowledge is there, it becomes easy to experience the self because then light is also, the light of knowledge is helping to see clearly, to understand the self clearly. So what am I? A separate energy, a living energy, master of this body. So it's up to me. I speak or I keep quiet. I see through these eyes. I have a pure, well-wishing, loving vision or I create a negative thought, then automatically this will express through my eyes. So it means I am player and this is my instrument. The body is my instrument. I am pure energy, living energy. And this body is just, it's composed of matter, so it's energy, but non-living energy. So two together, called human being. Human means physical frame and being the living energy. If we see that somebody said that when I see, I see nothing, uh, but then perhaps by seeing in physical form it will be nothing, but in feelings because it's not physical thing, that's why it's perhaps physical form is not visible. So the world may be used nothing, means not gross form of myself. It does not have a gross figure. Just like if I want to see somebody ask me, or some I ask one of the electrician, please show me light, show me the electricity. And he switches on the chandelier and says, this is light. But in fact, it's the effect. You cannot show me the light. And yet, you say, yeah, this is light. I oh, Yes, we have power. We switch on and I say, yes, there is power. <laughs> there is light. So sometimes we recognize ourselves through the effect. The subtlest the thing it is, the subtlest way, subtle way to recognize it. So then it means I also become detached and with my feelings, with my experience, I see myself. The experience of peace, experience of love, experience of happiness. Then this is also abstract qualities. So in order to see myself, I have to be in order to experience, I create a thought and the thought will create that feelings. Then feelings is changing into deep experience. Experience like you feel, just gives you the realization, this is what you are. So you are a soul, but by understanding and practicing you become what you are. This is why they say, as you think, so shall you be. So by thinking 
but by creating this thought with understanding that I am a separate energy, a pure energy, a peaceful soul. And it's it's a level, it's a certainly it's because it's metaphysical, it's it tends to go higher this level. Let me compare with the energy of the matter and the living energy. See this body is made of five elements. And uh, these five elements are earth, water, fire, air and ether. This is what the body is composed of. Now when somebody leaves the body, they say dust goes to dust. So earth, body, matter. But it's in this, in this body of five elements, even amongst five elements, the it's a tendency, each element, one element is becoming subtler than the other. Let us take the example of the grossest element, the earth. Amongst the five elements, just hold the earth, a piece of wood in your hand. And when you are holding a piece of wood, you can hold, you can grip it. And you can keep it gripped as long as you wish to. It won't move from your hand. It's gross. Okay, now the next element which is part of your body. Now the bo just why I, I wanted to uh, compare the subtle energy of the soul with the matter, with the gross energy. So why this soul is subtle energy? Why are you so subtle? And how your consciousness is high? So that point I want to explain. So this is again the example. So now the earth, very gross, you can grip it. Water, can you grip it water in this way? What you need to do? If you want to take water, so the, immediately the, the, gro, the gravitation of your hand that was here, now with water, it's, it's just it's changed its mode. Now you hold your hand like this and it, you can hold it and you can touch it, right? Fire, now the next element, fire. Can you hold fire in your hand in this way? It will you burn your hand. <laughs> you need a container. <laughs> and that also you cannot hold for a long time. <laughs> but you can see, yes, it's burning. And the fourth element? Air. You can see the wind is blowing, the leaves can show that it's cool, breathe fresh air, and it can touch you but you can't touch it. So it's again subtler than this, than fire. And ether, you can see it's all over, everywhere, but you can't wait, you can't um, touch it. You don't know its pressure, while well, the air, at least you could wait, you can have the pressure of the air, but ether is unlimited and higher and higher. See now, when you compare these elements, its, its tendency, each one is becoming subtler and higher. And you are the living energy, light. So you are you yourself that is higher than this. So these elements are physical, so still and metaphysical energy, then it's natural its place be beyond this matter. So this makes the difference, living energy, non-living energy, these elements then, they are, you can see the beauty, the environment, everything, but thinking power, the understanding, efforts, expression, with understanding is in you. I just 
offer in front of the chair a bouquet, a rose flower. The chair is mm-hmm. it's not going to say thank you to me. It's beautiful. It look, I will admire. It's beautiful. I live on the a bouquet of flower on the in the table. If I leave a glass of water, it's not going to quench his thirst. <laughs> leave a stone, it won't um, get angry with me. <laughs> Human beings have the feelings. Human beings have efforts. Living energy makes effort, can enhance its property. So it's nature. You are admiring nature. You are in that way making best use of nature in your garden. If you don't take care of the garden, it's going to be a jung- in turn into jungle. A tree is diseased. It won't say, please take me to the gar- gardener, uh, my doctor. I want to get a spray so the next year I can bear beautiful fruits. No. Your apple tree is not going to make effort. You have to make effort. So this is the difference between the living energy and non-living energy. So where means living energy as thinking, understanding, efforts, expression. So here when I see myself in that living energy, I can see that deep desire of in ourselves to be peaceful. It means peace is my nature. And we are searching for peace. Why are you searching? It means you have lost it. And can you search, lose a thing without having it in the first place? <laughs> you, it means you, it was your property. <laughs> So in this way with understanding that peace is my true nature. So see yourself in that consciousness and then positive thought will start and then that change into feeling and that experience will make you feel again and then it's surety, yes, I am a peaceful soul in my true nature. So then now you are seeing a living energy with quality. I, the soul, am essence of knowledge. I want to understand myself. Self-realization, to know the reality of the self. Both ways. Realization does not mean here I see my weakness and continue to repent and become weak. Realization means to see yourself in a very clearly, clearly what are the original qualities in you and what weakness are remain. And when realizing this, this weakness is there, I make effort and remove. So realization means liberation from weakness. The living energy, a soul, is also called a shining star. So it has five main points in it. Knowledge, peace, love, purity and bliss. That's called happiness. And when these five are together, it makes it six. The sixth quality, it becomes power. So some people have the star of double triangle, six points, star of David, star of divinity. So that's the power in the self of the soul, the living energy. So we wanted to use this hidden potential. So I have to just turn within, see, and then in order to be using these qualities, the treasure is within me and I want to use it what I need. Again, I need to see myself in that little point of light, in that form of that energy. We know that potential is there. The inner source is there. Now, in order to go to that source, 
I have to see myself in my original real self that this is what I am. So when we are actually reminding ourselves of our true nature, see, remember that you are, you are remembering your original nature. Yeah, present state may be in the situation you are, there may be certain disturbance or conflicts or peacelessness. So when we are seeing ourselves in this state of upheaval, we are at that time under the influence of matter of this question. So then on one side there is a thought that I am peaceful, other side there is a thought, but now I can see ten different thoughts of disturbance are in my mind. But the technique is that means you you remind yourself of your true nature and then reminding again and again you are creating that vibrations. This is what you are working within. To search, just like in the mind, you are digging this, the mind of your mind. And your intellect is focused on your true nature. And you can see the whole this mind, the mind of mind is full of other rubbish as well. But deep within, your vision is focused that there is a diamond. So now you don't mind the rubbish around it. <laughs> Still, your, your full attention, your target is to bring that diamond out. So what are you reminding yourself? A pure and peaceful soul, a pure energy, a powerful soul, a point of light. The so natural state of the soul is the, more, the desire to be pure, to be peaceful, to be loveful. Is that means this is what has been our nature and now it is not. Now it has, it has the, tree, the leaves are fallen down. So it means I want to go back again in my the stage that there was that nature of blossoming qualities. So we don't have, when it is already negative, I do not need to create more negative. So, because everybody understands that it is, it has become more than negative what we... And because it, nature, uh, it has influenced, because I have come in contact with matter, and matter has influenced me, and that is also nature of the soul, that it gets impressed, impressed very, very quickly, because it has the nature to express and to be impressed. See, this is the personality of the soul. When I am separate from the matter, then I am expressing my quality. So this is my nature. And when I am connected with matter, then first I am staying in harmony with matter. And gradually, gradually, I am being impressed by matter. So what are you? Reminding yourself a pure and peaceful soul, a pure energy, a powerful soul.